Hello, James here. I was gonna make a video, I haven't done one like this in a long time. I'm gonna make as a two and one video, maybe two and this is going on this particular side of YouTube. And one, it was not about what's going on with the latest thing with national, but something that's locally and it's in a particular community and it's it nice is in the black community so um, I'm going to make my fair assessment I'm going to give my t uh, opinion uh, on two topics on two gentlemen one's passed away about the name of Kevin Samuels the other one I'm going to make about that I made past videos about was Umar Johnson um, I've been watching videos um, on my on my YouTube, um, sometimes on my tablet, and, and and just waiting to see what different people's opinions on different out platforms and their on their personal um, assessment of the Cam Kevin Samuels scenario. Uh, what I've learned from that, and then someone made up some good points how Kevin Samuel would sit there and criticize black men about not being a high value man because you're not making over fifty fifty thousand dollars fifty thousand well over, over you're not making up to a hundred thousand but if you're making fifty thirty five to fifty thousand dollars you're not a high value man um which is crazy then he would then he would mockery make make fun of black women who didn't fit a certain stereotype and but usually praise being being critical for being overweight, being the, being not being able to hold down a relationship, having children out of a relationship, and yet, and I was hearing this one woman saying that there was a woman who was mixed, who had the same issue as black women, being a single mother, being divorced and married twice. Uh, um, making a fair assessment, and then how how these men are crying over this man. And it's like making it like they, they, they best buds. Then there was another video I was watching. Uh, how this one person got a tattoo of Kevin Samuels, and it was no relationship. It was not one of nobody in his family, but they was just they was putting them like it was pretty much like idol, what I call idolship of someone. Then it, it and they put a put his pit put some kind of and put like a halo over over him while he was in the suit and the, ne the next thing I, I, I've heard someone had a recording of Kevin Samuel's daughter that was saying that she pretty much needed her father in her life and he wasn't really there and the time that he wasn't there um, some of the things that mentally what she went through as a daughter there was time in her life that she needed him as a father and he, he wasn't there but all these other people are kind of putting him up on um, high regards. And then the people who don't like him, you got the, the, the followers are kind of threaten to sue because of slandering, threaten to jump on somebody because they so emotional about this man. But, but the reason why he's getting critiqued now from different individuals is because his very worst is what he said. He told people, you know, some men that they wasn't a certain value. They, he told certain men and women that they wasn't a certain value. Black men and black women. Because they didn't meet to his, his standards. Then the people that he would run with, they got some issues going on who is his friends. Who, they got, there's, there's stuff being unveiled about them. And they're, no matter if they're professional, but someone is out locking the door of their life. And then their, their their past is not so um, trying to make themselves be more relevant because of their profession, but their just because their profession don't match up with their character, and how one of them is an attorney, and he's been married twice, but yet it there's there's allegedly that the woman that one woman that he was with had to go back didn't want to be with him no more that went back to her own country.
this is one of Kevin Samuel's friends. That one, the one is out there trying to threaten everybody if, if, if there's any slander. That's supposed to be a spokesperson. Now he's being now he's being roasted online. So and anybody know who that is? Because he just he's all that and in his part they part is networking a group. Now the pe now now you're gonna be his friend of this man who's supposed to be a high value man. Must be high value, but all these other people come back and they dig up seats and documents of what he's done and what he said. And and on this one video, they said that Kevin Samuels was technically written from apartment that that where he stayed at, and sometimes he would do his videos from his car that it, it was, was a luxury car that was leaking oil. That that he was it was he's leaking. But how is that a, a high value man? has a high value car and he's not taking care of his car and it's leaking oil from uh, leaking oil and, and uh, it was one viewer, viewer that said that and so it's like wow man and then the, the, so he had to put a cardboard up underneath his vehicle because when his landlord was standing asking to you know to do something about it because they don't want that wherever he was staying at was leak cause the oil to leak on the driveway. So he was technically rent they say was went renting an apartment or room basically, trying to sit back with all of that stuff and play the be all dressed up and with 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 all that stuff in the background. Then it was allegedly that some I don't know this true you know it's allegedly that he had candles that he would take the candles and you see in the back when you see it on his video that that he he would take them back to the store or something like that I, I mean it was just it was certain things like he tried to play the image of an image consultant but it is that his his um his lifestyle did and, and people don't ever think of, about if you go trying to portray yourself as a rich person successful person a narcissist that you know you, you look down on one people because then they don't have a certain look or they have a certain de demographical income most likely people are going to come at you and they're going to dig into what make you think that you're better than, than the rest of us out here on this population and then when they're able to dig receipts up on you and get video on you then you just expose then you expose yourself and this is what's happening and he's getting roasted from different individuals and people getting mad that's that wow man because this guy has died but a lot of these people didn't know who he really was and now there's people that's find out find out more information about Kevin Samuels actual information not just some just some, from coming from videos and documents and certain the people that he was the woman that he was with that was not really his steady girlfriend. That was not real. What? It was just basically some woman they had casual sex with. And now this is something going on that his heart and it was whatever substance was next to his heart. But uh, that's allegedly. That's what was gonna happen. Then then she, the person that was with him threatened to sue somebody who kind of accused her of thing. But at the same time, it, it's it's a big mess. It, it's just I I learn from one I learn from what I learn from people from on YouTube. Don't put someone in a high regard. I you know just because they look apart, they talk apart, they they sooner or later they're gonna be exposed. Like for example, the next person I'm gonna talk about is Umar Johnson. Now people are still trying to defend Umar Johnson. After he didn't, after he didn't collected donations, everybody, even other people, chime, chime in who don't usually make a video. Now I got to some heavy um, YouTube influence in, on the black side, like Atasha K and Michi X. See, see right through his stuff. And then he, he's kind of surprised because someone's at the same platform because he they get the same kind of audience. Like why? Why are you are attacking me, sister? And I ain't never did anything to you, you know. Why you got your name on your on your mouth and da 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 da? da. And it's like they just doing a fair assessment 
about what you've been going across the country and around the world in, in the community. So it was eventually Michi X and Tasha K was going it was going to come across and make a fair assessment because Michi X is an actual person that goes out there and be, for what she said that she's been on boots on the ground behind organizations and know how things done. And Tasha K, she's good at what she do as far as getting the resources and some resor certain resources to find out what's really going on. What's, what's the really background? And she's able to pull it out. And it is that you don't want to mess with neither one of them because they can go and get some information on you. That That's just, it's like, wow, Umar, you know? It's like you need to really stop this, you know? And you got these, these people who still, and it was, you know, it was really, really sad that you got people that are still supporting that they don't use no critical thinking. Then the people who really critique them, who's critiquing them and showing that this school is not going to open. One, one was um, was um, everybody well known, and he got criticized for look what that guy called himself, Lord Jamar. Mark. Lord Jamar has actually been in the limelight before Umar was ever stepped into to the limelight because he was already a person of celebrity status. I didn't even notice that one time I watched the video. That's Lord Jamar. Oh, he was part of this group. I'm like, wow. So he's been he, he in the spotlight. So by him being in the spotlight, he came across people that probably have done with business and everything. That's num that's number two. You know, you know, he has his own podcast, but he's been in a limelight before. He also, you know, he, he's his father-in-law. That's what he said. Up, had a school for thirty some years, trying to help him out and maybe give him some tips, but but. Like he said, his ego, his pride got in the way because he didn't want to make himself look like he don't know what he's doing online in, in front of his followers because he's at hype, have his hyper delusion that he, he can, he got every, he can, he want to do it all this stuff and don't want to share the credit with somebody. And he's, and Umar exposing himself. When he sit back and he's criticizing somebody, well, yeah, they, they have a school. But that's what they so-called got their school. But they, they don't have a real school. He compared to LeBron James. He, he criticized um, these, these other people, the YouTuber influencers that got there. The one was Q Butter. They actually got a, got a home school and started and probably built on from his stuff. Then it's a young man, I think it was in Georgia somewhere. He got kids uh, got school for black boys. He actually went through the whole process of it. Then. Then you have another person who is legit. His name is J.T. Washer. He's coming from the from the odd from the accountant's point of view. He knows about the tax status and all the the, the nonprofit and everything. He then he's a black dude. All these are black dudes that that know about know about how you play by the you have to do this by the law or you're gonna suffer the consequences. And J.T. Pockawasher is saying, hey. You know, according to this, you didn't fill this these forms out, so this is gonna come back at you. And some someone got offended because they, well, look at it, people. Just because the state of Pennsylvania said you can't clock donations, but yet, yeah, even though that then one guy said we get out and read the whole letter, it just said that he didn't want it. some some guy got offended because people were crit critiquing him for that because he was not allowed to get donations. But he can get get donations from somewhere else. But the point is, he can't collect donations. And if he did collect donations in the other state, it, I, said, I said then there's not enough donations to cover cover his taxes. And this is where where, where, where JT was talking about. You can't go around expecting to go back, going crack across the country every year and and, and asking people take send your PayPal um, and send me your checks, send me your money. To pay off something that is a taxes, the tax taxes, and that's just taxes. Then you have a guy named KKC. He does insurance, so he understands insurance how you insure the building. And so, and, and I saw some of his video. He was saying that how you know you have to basically you have to have a certain amount of coverage, and if it's not if the building is not up to code, whatever, because someone can fall, fire can happen. And so the insurance is going. Was there any insurance on the building? And if there's no ins proper insurance on the building, 
and it, and it doesn't match with the policy, someone's going to get in trouble. And he said he couldn't get some, and if some insurance person insured that building, they can lose the probably get in trouble with the in, in insurance commission and could probably lose the insurance license. That, that's a, or, get, or get punished or get penalized or some kind of way. See, people don't technically don't think about this so-called nation building. You have to, you know, with you the nation, with the nation, you still got to go by, by the rules. But see, Umar followers don't understand that. They don't think about stuff like that. And they don't think, they so caught up with his charisma and, and, and not even thinking logic about it. Then you have the people that, that who are, there were people that wanted to donate their time and services and say, all you got to do is go get the schematics and everything. And, and they were black men that say, I can get, we have a company that we can use our time off. We come down and come down there on our own gas and money and, and, and with our own equipment and help you get the schools up and running with your air conditioning and, and, and system. But he didn't, he didn't want to do that. So he got, he went and then the, the people he didn't, um, who did the work for him, he didn't pay them. And, and for what is alleged on Leonard Arnold channel, he kept some, some of them left their tools there. So he was have, having something there. So he didn't, they didn't completely do the work. Then the power that you see when you go into the school, then there was another guy that came in to show that there was an electric company that was running uh, right next and in front of the building where his building was at. And they said, is this, is this building? And Leonard Honor again, point this out on his channel, show, show this man that the electric company, which is the Delaware Power, the crews was out there, had no connect, they did not put no connection through in that side of that park because you need some type of utilities. So so legal, legal is someone illegally is, is getting power into a building that it wasn't supposed to get any power. Did uh, so Leonard Honor point that out? Then he, then he said to Leonard Honor said that he called down it to the people and he said he gave the because the building sets on three uh, has on two or three streets. So they, they, the, he said that the lady looked it up on the computer. It was not there was no electric or gas in on that property. Then the state of Delaware is sending Umar. Uh, had to pay every year since he had it for the last couple of years. You have to start paying your taxes on the building because it, and it, and, it, and that's tallying up. So meanwhile, he's he's having having people give him money, and there's some people that are caught up with with his his rhetoric, and bring and he he deflects and he delays and he derails people to give him money, and he keeps reflect and and, it's, and the crazy part about it, he makes. There's people that don't know when he, they go to his lecture because they, they so he gives them a little bit of truth about what's going on with you know different problems with with idol, adolescents and certain things that the, the county do. But any any doctor, any psychiatrist have to keep up to date. And there's probably some doctors and psychiatrists can probably back this up. They have to keep up to date of what new conditions that was being diagnosed. Because sometimes some children, they diagnose some with different personalities. And then you have to deal with the personality of a child or what condition is the child. And how do, how we do we, without setting the child off, making the child worse than what it already, what he or she basically is a boy who, what he already is. That, that's what he want to deal with boys, right? But he does, he does, he does understand, understand every, Everybody in their profession, whether it is a regular doctor or a well-experienced doctor, have to every year update their, their knowledge on whatever is in their field in order to keep up with, with, with new things, new diagnosis, everything coming out every year. So they have to stay up with their, their, um, their, their uh, as far as CPR classes and diagnose classes and, and courses and conferences on, with other professions on what is it that they can they take back to their own to make their pra they make their practice really good and keep up to date. Umar does not do that. Umar does not does not understand that. He's trying to and whatever he learned at that time applied at that time. It it doesn't it probably wouldn't work today, but it, something that probably worked 10, 15 years ago probably wouldn't work today. 
but that's what with some people he's probably giving some maybe it is some truth but he's giving you outdated truth but his followers don't seem to understand this and and, and it's all about even if you go to a black even with a, a black uh, psychologist or I think so, so, what, what the, the ones who deal with the personalities and and psychologists and all these other people, they have to stay up to date no matter if they're black, they're white, they're any other race, race. Because if they do something and they mix diagnose something or do something, something, it can cost them their license. Then they can get sued. Then then the parent can come back and sue them and and all kind of things. So they have to cover they gotta cover their asses. You know, but Umar don't think doesn't think like that. With somebody, all they gotta do is get offended of what he do, he, he he do somebody wrong one time with that child one time and set that child set that child back one time. He's gonna he's he's gonna pay for it on that end by mixed not properly giving the right adequate. And then maybe some maybe he learns some things like as he's giving these people a third because some of these people. Who never really experienced, and never really studied, never really researched. Some is his people who follow Umar. They never really probably studied and researched this stuff out for themselves. They t he tells you because whatever it is that you know, it's just white people is the any white people this and and not giving you some foundation and some proper solution. So he does all this screaming and yelling and rhetoric that from what I've seen of, of some of the videos online. It, it makes it sound like people are like, ooh, ooh, that brother telling some truth. It's like, you just, instead of following and finding out for yourself. And that's because it's, it's sad that it, and it, they're the time of people that, you know, that some people, when you put something in the book, they don't read it. They don't research it. They don't read whatsoever. So they get, they get into it with the people. Then they troll the people, people who critique him. Like a Leonard Arn or KKC or some individual like that, critiquing them because they make a judgment saying that you hating on the black man, but it's like, but he's 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 telling you some outdated stuff. Then they're not being practical and they're not being real, being realistic. I mean, it's it's the truth. And so, I mean, this is what I've learned from the. It's like wow, just sitting back and watching people. Just because someone looked good, they dressed apart, the they got the cert certain attitude, it's like it's amazing how people will fall for it. And you know, and even I learned from myself by watching certain individuals. I thought they had their shit together. But when I see this other side of them, I'm like, damn, I I don't say no nothing no more about it. I say, hey, you know, this hey, 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 just sit back before you access the situation. Wait to wait you need to see more of see more video on why this person is saying this and it's it's not when it came to Kevin Samuels it's not just one person it's not just two not just three not just four it's not just black women there are some black men who are even saying this and it's not because they're jealous not because they, they because they because I'm pretty sure they they got money and they got their own jobs whatever and it's not because of popular view they make it and an actual critique, like, hey, this man has said something, and it, and it, it doesn't he, it doesn't fit his character, and so he sit up there trying to crit, critique someone. All these other people are saying, you don't, if you don't make a certain amount of money, you're not, not our, our class in that category. If you're a woman, black woman, you don't fit in this class category because you you don't, it, you know, it's like wow, and now he's getting critiqued. From one end to the other, and the only reason why people are doing this because he opened up the door on social media. He opened up the door on Twitter. He opened up the door on Facebook. He opened the door by criticizing black men and black women and saying that you no longer because you you don't fit to a certain lifestyle. And, and no woman, no no successful woman wants you. You the man. If your woman, no successful man, don't want you, you know, just put down the man because he don't make a certain amount. Put down the woman because she don't make a certain amount. She don't have a certain look, and not really looking at his own situation. See, if you're gonna talk about something, then at least be in the position 
and sit back and question, well, then why your relationship didn't work out? How can you tell somebody if you ain't been married for 30, 25, 30 years and happily married? That's, 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 that's basically what it is. How can someone t tell you something and they're not happily married and they're not happy relationship in, in, in themselves? Giving you advice. And you see that their, their relationship, they're about four, five, six relationship because they're valid. Now, sometimes, in some cases, the, the first person, sometimes it don't work out too well. But when they've been in a relationship three or four time, times and their children haven't really been in their life, what does that tell you? And they don't, they don't grown children tell them they, they, ain't, they, they, they say ain't nothing. Because they ain't been in their life. They ain't done nothing for them in their life. But the, all you're doing is feed, feeding it with their ego. And his daughter said that. She needed her father. I heard this on this, this it, it, a couple videos. That his own daughter, Kevin Samuel's daughter, wasn't in, in his own daughter's life when she needed him the most and, and as a young, young lady. She needed him the most. But yet he's out there cr critiquing somebody. Uh, uh, other women. And he's and he's doing more damage than do, 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 than he than he feeds his ego by going to get women, whether they they were they were not they were non-black with the same conditions of the women that who don't make a certain amount of money as the as the black women that he's putting around that have they put hair extensions in their hair with with the, with some what the mother women do the same thing the mother women put hair extensions and and butt lips and everything else and try to look exotic like. Like some women that he's very criticized about. It's a fact, and I, and I don't I don't blame for some black women who who are angry <laughs> and and have a right to critique him and mock mock his mock his mock him. Now is it is it cold that somebody would talk about his death, someone who died? Yeah, but what kind of legacy did he leave? What what did he leave? What one of to really um, make make a difference, and then maybe the way he said it, it wasn't critiqued the right way. It wasn't said the right way because now you have men and women saying that you, this. Look at what you've done. You sit down there and talk about someone's high value, and they they pull it out and say, "Hey, you look at this person as a high value man, and he was he was not that long." He's not. He's. He, and they, they point out he went to college and dropped out. It's. It's out there. So he would. So he didn't really do do, do, do good good in college. And then, you know, which you know, they didn't, they didn't talk about income, but yet he was. Uh, uh, didn't he sell uh, cologne at a, a department at one point? And then work at Home Depot. So that's not exactly a hundred grand a year type of job. But some people don't think about that. So he, he dressed his suit, he dressed the part, and he maybe he, he come across some guys in the lifetime that make it put like he's in the same category as them. Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. I um I have met people in I went to one time I went to a place called Toastmasters. Toastmasters is one of these places where you, they teach you how to kind of get your grammar and how the way you speak. Sometimes I still kinda some things don't come out right. You know how we, we have a tendency to say and but and but and they they teach you how to critique certain how, you know to, to get uh, be a, a better speaker. So there were people coming. From, there were there were people that were there from different professional life. There were engineers. There were some people that retired bank executives. They they come from different aspect of life. Just because and, and God you know allowed me to see. Let me see um, how the Toastmasters was. Now I wasn't. I'm not really a professional. I don't retire of being a professional, but I've been around professionals. Just because I've been around profession, professional people, it doesn't make me that I'm put in the same category as these people. And these were white people. This happened about 2009, 2010. Now I come across some people where they, they were men and women, but they were how to be professional speakers. Because it make you better 
presentation and things like that and they teach you how to you know when the speaking classes and people in Toastmasters they know what I'm talking they know what I'm talking about or any kind of speaking class and so you come across people on how to be a better speaker if you're an attorney or if you're, or you're, if you're a professor or something like that and, and if it just because you know some, some people don't mean that you, it make because I'm around I'm professional myself because they're the ones that was really was the professionals some retired professional bank executives and things like that but it, you know it's something how some people can get up and just because you you, you come across somebody who who is um, in its different professional higher higher earning people it doesn't mean doesn't mean that you, you should take on a, 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 a kind of personality that I'm better than, than the rest of these people. No, I wasn't. I was just there because the God was showing me how when you not to be nervous and how the way you present yourself when you go and try to stand before an audience. And it's kind of a certain gestures they will kind of point it like habits that we say like uh you know you know you know you know and, and that that's kind of like a a flaw in, in, in by saying you know and sometimes we we have say certain words that you know and it doesn't it's kind of grammar st structure what rise it doesn't and sometimes even to this day i kind of slip off and forget certain things and it doesn't seem grammarly it doesn't match up so that's to me, he got around some professional people. In other words, he got around some professional people. And just because someone's dressed apart, put on a suit, put on a tie, don't make, they, they, they trying to put the image, but the character doesn't match with the image, basically. Because the actions, when you're successful, you should be successful in everything. You should be successful in saying, even though you're a successful man, if you're a successful career man, then you should have a a successful woman not women going out having many different women but should have one woman because it shows stability and shows that maturity that's a success that's a high value man that he can keep one woman and make it and live be with her for the next 30 years then, then he, and then whether he's a fifty thousand dollar man or forty thousand dollar man he's a high value man he can be just as high value as a hundred thousand dollar man or or woman, so, but he, he, you know, this is why Kevin Samuel is getting the smoke. This is the reason why. This this is the honest, good reason why. And then the way he critiqued women, and the same women you're saying that are heavy set. You got heavy set women in, in different parts of the, the country. You got heavy set women that wear hair weaves in different. And you go. To, certain places you don't some of the women get Brazilian butt lifts down there in Brazil that's a fact some of them ain't got natural natural bodies some of them are not some women they, they do that some women don't have, have natural hair they still have hair extensions not just black women it, it's not just black women and I understand why some black women why you gonna pick up and as a black woman, I can understand why some black women do that. Hey, wait a minute. Now, do, do some black women have a bad personality? Yeah, some do. But when you say black women, you they, you know, it's like you putting the ones included in it. See, so you, so you, you general, you're generalizing. That's how the way, <laughs> way it was. And if someone don't meet to your standard, because you don't live up to standard, they have the right to critique you. Like how can you sit up there as a man and you're not you're not with a successful woman yourself and all you're doing is being so it's okay for you to be a back daddy and player because you you're high value man. This is what the this is what a woman can point that out. So another woman can share herself with another man, a so called high value man, have adult have different babies around the world and, and it's a man he's being in whoredom just like they will choose that woman being a whoredom. He can't control his sexual urges like she can't control his sexual urges. That's a fair assessment, and that's obviously that's what he was try, was trying to do. Because if he was a man with value, he would he would have been with one woman. 
if he was a man with value, he would make it make it make on the second time his relationship work. And same with his buddies too. Not going to three or four one going to three or four, five, six different women. That's a fact. Just because you got the money and you got the time to do so. And just because you suddenly you come up with this certain a certain way because you, you, you led to believe. Because somebody can critique that and say, hey, if you are successful, why are you in three or four different relationships? And, and you spend more money in divorces and then get turn around and complain about it. You would have that many divorces. If, if, so really, like we, we, we critique the women. You can critique the men the same way. What's wrong with the men meeting the women that they they can't have a long term relationship with? What does it tell about them? It is does that, and I'm striking whether you're a man or woman. Don't you think that's kind of odd? Someone been married or in a relationship four times, maybe twice, and divorced twice, and got kids, and they working on the third, and then the third person that they work with, with, they don't seem to get along. So maybe at some point, maybe it's that person. Maybe it's their ego. Why? Right. Let's say, for example, Umar Johnson's, where his kid's mother. Why are they not together? But he's, he's he's telling you about again trying to be a relationship like about by loving the black woman. But why did he stand by his own? This maybe I can see maybe the first time. But what happened with the second? Woman, what what? Cause if he, what happened with the second? What happened with the third woman? And he's all that alpha male and loving the black woman and everything. And why is he? He's not married. Why? Why is he? And are they going? To, you know, to be in agreement with his ego, be subservient to a man that has his has has character flaws. And this is what Leonard Arnold was pointing that out. Where's his character flaws? He's put on an air, but what you see is his is his pride. His pride. Now it's starting to show come out in different arenas that now it's, it's showing that it's it's come it's come to backfire in his face. Now it's just not, not black men are critiquing. You got black oh now these strong strong person personalities of black women starting to critique him. And see now we gotta speak as a woman, like to Amishi, Amishi X and Tasha K, who has who have a bigger platform. Well, wait a minute, why are you why are you talking me? Because he, he, see, he used to call the men out their name, calling them niggas and coons and stuff like. But what do you call a black woman? Oh wow! Then he, then he plays on the women, plays on the women mentality. But you can't play on Tasha K and Amishi X mentality. Because they, they see right through his bull crap. Because they come across men like that. <laughs> and they called him out for his bulls. And he, he can't can't understand that. At some point, it, it, they see what kind of personality that you have. That's why they're coming at you. You're not a real man. You're not a real man. You're not acting like a real... Your character is not acting like a real man. A stable man. That would take responsibility. If people, if he would take responsibility with that school, he wouldn't have to keep doing that. This is this is an honest, a fair assessment. He'll, I'm just saying from both all different angles, getting and, and lumping all of it on both topics with these two men. One is still in the land of the living, and the reason why he's not happy because. He, he got to deal with himself. Umar got to deal with his Umar. And the only one that's going to take down Umar is not the people on, on social media. It's going to be Umar. Umar and his own personality. He got to deal with everything he so-called tried to give advice to. He got to take his own, he got to take his own medication. Sooner or later, because Umar is going to take down Umar. And, and people are going to stand back. And, and watch him, him self destruct. That's what he's doing. No one really wants somebody to really see and feel, but in, in his followers don't seem to understand this because they're so caught up in their ego. 
you fall on what's trying to find, find a, a black leader, trying to find this, this leader kind of mentality. And if you look at Marcus Garvey, Frederick Douglass, do you see them ever going out there, clown, stand in any of their pictures during their time on this earth? Ask, ask, ask yourself this: Do you see Marcus Garvey out there talk, talk about I'm the king, I'm the king of Pan Africans? Pour, pour, pour drinks over someone's grave. Did someone take a picture back then? About then? No. Marcus Garvey had, had his own person. He was his own person. He, he was poised. Christ said very few words. But you can say he wasn't all loud and all. And, and had to make someone bigger than what he, what he was. He told it in his writings. You didn't, you didn't see that. You didn't see Frederick Douglass acting like that. You didn't see Harry Tubman acting like that, but he's he's, he's trying to be he's trying to so called I don't know trying to think that and, and they, I I want to take it all on myself because I got the brains and I and, and, and I I I I they try then only once while he say we when it comes to the donation we brothers and sisters we but it's more like an, I did this and I did this and this is what it this is what the people saw when they saw it on Lord Jamal. The ones with the black folks with the dog on sense. So I was like, this man, he, he ain't, you know, no, there's something, there's something wrong with this picture. He seemed like he was on the right path, but now you're odd. Right. And that's what he got exposed. And all Lord Jamal did was not, not insult him. He said, King, I just want to make some suggestions to you. That's what it was about. And even Lord Jamal even said that he, he, he wanted to help, but his ego. I'm, I'm the greatest because I've been on on the radio stations. I've been on Roland Martin. I've been on I I I but yet Umar is taking his own self down, exposing his own self. No one has to expose Umar, but Umar and any person from any nationality of people standing back who don't really can just look back and say they're looking at his ego. Oh and there's someone and some and someone another race another ethnic group to critique and say, hey his at his personality anyway. Or oh, you being racist. No. Not being racist. Look at his personality. And some black people who support him don't want don't want don't want to deal with that. His some his followers don't want to deal with. They want to face the fact. You can't build a nation unless you have a group of people around you. That's as simple as that. You can't build a nation by yourself. And then try to take everything on by yourself. You need people around you when you make an organization. You need people around you when you build a school. You need other people's insight to know how to get through the red tapes when it comes to setting up something or building something in, in, in this country or anywhere else. So you got to play by the rules and play by the tax laws. You can still have your nation, but you still got to think, you have to think logic because you live in the nation. Unless you get some special tax status and you are a nation, you're not a nation. Unless, it's, unless the government grant, grant to you. But you, you got black folks who support Umar don't understand that. So why you, and, and the ones, and this, this is his supporters, you don't understand that. You do not understand. You're so caught up in the hype. And the, and the black this and black that and black this and black that and shit that. There's a look at these people, that, and you're not even looking at, you're not even taking a fair assessment of his character. You're not making a fair assessment of his character. And the other folks, black folks, you call them out the names because you use the slave terminology because they, they use a regular, regular discretion and discernment on what they see. So, so someone have a disagreement with you, you call them a racial name, just like the, a white person would call them out the racial name. You're just as just about worse. Because you don't love your people. You don't love your people. Without cr critiquing somebody and calling them out their racial name because you call them some old 1930, calling them the C word, the N word, and, and all the other, another one because someone have a disagreement with them. But it's something wrong with you. And anybody stand with Uber on that, it's something wrong with them. Let's call it what it is. It's something. It is what it is. The same way as someone would critique about Kevin Samuels. And he sat up there and pushed that stuff on everybody. He opened up the door. Let's like, 
and just like these other other characters on that in the black sector YouTube, they they open the door. Then they put their stuff all over. They put their stuff on world star hip hop. They put their stuff on Twitter. They put their stuff on Instagram. They put their stuff on YouTube, and they don't think that people gonna come back with the smoke. You 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 told the whole world your personality. Their pride has caused them their own downfall. That open up their own door. And now people, not only here, but all across the country and wherever that's YouTube, whatever the social set media is, people chime in looking at this. Looking at this individual. Saying, this person is a nut. Oh, that's how they, way they culture get down? And if it was probably from another culture part of the world, oh, that's how they culture get down? And it, it, then there's some black people who got that from some of us who, who are from this culture in this country say, wait a minute, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 not all of us are like, like, like this nutball. I'm just saying, can I, keep, can I be real with this? I'm going to be honest with you because it, it looks bad. It really looks bad. And then when someone who who have much bigger, there's people who got bigger, bigger platforms is they, you know, they get mad because the pick, people with the bigger platforms is crit critiquing the Umar Johnsons and the Kevin Seamers and other people like that. And they're doing a fair assessment of it. And they try and get, get, get some of you to think. Get some of you to rationalize and realize. This is, this is, this is the issue. Think. And even the people that's in the profession, the attorneys, the, the accountant. The, the, the dues insurance, the, the contractors say, "Hey, they they they, they come, they put their expertise and say, no, this, no, 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 he's not gonna be able to do this, no, 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 and then you know he can't do this on this kind of money because of this, 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 this. What you mean? See, y'all just hating on the black man da, 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 da. instead of sitting down and think about he's not thinking like a black man, he's thinking like a black fool because he's not listening to, to to logic and reason, and he wants to be the so-called." I'm the greatest. I'm, I'm gonna be. I'm, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be well known. You gonna be well known, all right? The one who opened up, who went across the country, across the world, someone give give you money to give them out, they, 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 get them half true. Start off with something with his opinion. Make us some kind of conspiracy thing about it. Give you half true. And people just 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 to see what he, he got to say and, and will follow it through and through. And then some people, and half the people, they believe it. They're dangerous. And they get so caught up. And then there was a couple of people that tried to mint, mint ooh, Dr. Umar style, and the guy got fired off his job because act, acting a fool like Umar on his own job, trying to be, bring his persona in, cost the man his job. And it was another YouTuber. And I believe it was that some people don't like. She kind of pointed that out. And she actually had the video, and actually had the statement that that he got he got let go from the, this person that Umar had favor with. This guy had last she got fired from his job. Trying to be like Umar. <laughs> uh, trying to go in there with that, and it. And have you ever asked why did he, why no one really takes him seriously? Not even the Black Psychiatrist Association don't take him seriously. Go on in with that, with that rhetoric. Oh, you don't agree with my way. You a coon. You this. You this. You this. This and calling people out their names and and, and, and being elementary school level. Do you think anybody logically who's a professional, a proud black woman, proud black man, but know how to balance an assessment? Would honestly sit down and really listen to that, really. And then you have low-minded, and it goes to tell you that if he, if he has people that's low-minded people, that he don't even stay up to date on the different personalities, attitudes on children, and how to deal with these personalities because each child is different. Have it ever dawned on some people like that? No, this is what the, if your kid doing it, get out and hit him with the belt. 
I, I punch them in the chest. They come, they stay with me, and they and he's saying stuff like this. Leonard on is pointing all this out, and they argue with him, pointing out his, his deeds. But he's 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 making his own assessment. Then K K C come back make his own assessment. There's some other other few other people make their own assessment, and they got children. So of course it's gonna affect them and other people who's they're gonna they say, oh, wait a minute, what's wrong with y'all? And they black. Full black. Cause black people wait a minute, you ain't full black. Wait a minute, you know, Leonard Arnold lives in Utah. He was full black. You got some black folks that, that dumb. I'm serious. Take that tone. I'm just, I'm just saying how some of us, man, but how some people they're willing to follow and listen to anything. And first, I give some people benefit of doubt. I like Umar. I try to give them a benefit of doubt. But when I start seeing that ego and that personality start coming out, like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, oh, I'm, I'm wrong. Don't make them. Don't say no more about it. I look, it was another individual. I thought he was going like Grandmaster. I thought he was on it, man. You know, I said, wow, this guy, oh, he about to leave something. All of a sudden, someone, all of a sudden, I'm like, damn. I said, like, oh, shit. I ain't going to say no more about it. I ain't going to say no more about it. Because it's, I start seeing this person, this persona. This persona started getting more followers and more people. And, and more people got more funds. And more people trying to start. And it's almost like... You're feeding this ego. You're feeding this personality. And all of a sudden, they, they, they was humble, and all of a sudden, they turned to, no, I'm king now. I don't need, to, need, need them. I'm king now. I've been in all things. It's like, what the, hell? hold on, wait a minute. They start putting down people. Like, I'm telling you, you're going to expose, someone's going to expose you, and their ego take them down. And some of these people getting well-known people getting arrested and they get online and it hit, hits the social waves. Their ego came on down. Pharaoh, young Pharaoh came down. Nature Boy came down. They per come down. Boom Mars. Boom. Being slow. Then he, then his ego said, I am untouchable. No, I don't believe that. And, and all of a sudden, and people saying they're about to come get the buildings because he got to pay his taxes. No, I don't believe that. Don't believe that. There's someone pull, pulling up the pull up the website and actually the the, the the state website where the school's listed at <laughs> and the tax records. Well, don't believe that. Don't believe that. Well, why is it tax? You ain't paid your taxes. You know, be little alone. You ain't got insurance. Probably on the building. It's before the kids are coming, people to come into the school. Then you got you got it you ain't got it properly irrigated right. Then people get mad because someone went actually did research, did the stuff up, went on the website, showing telling you that they're doing no one no one no one no one no, 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 no here's here's the state website is public information. It's, this is public, you see, it's public information. When you ask what when you ask something money from the public, you put yourself in public information. If you come on YouTube, you you're gonna be criticized for public information. If I say, can you send me that send me hundreds of thousands of dollars for this, 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 this I'm gonna get critiqued. And say this guy, James, he's full of crap. Hello? And I don't you know, I keep telling, yeah, yeah, let's see, let's see these people understand, man. I'm just saying, man. Uh, you know, brother got to do what he got to do, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause, cause I had to, I got to channel the ancestor and stuff like that. And people like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and somebody like, <coughs> woo. People don't think. People don't do discernment. Where is it discernment in some people? They get emotional. And that's why some people, they work our emotions. Because it's like, you know, like, these, these Negroes are dumb. Some of these Negroes are dumb. I'm serious. 
They don't even think about things. They just go by what they go by what they respond. So um, yeah, that's what that's what it's all about. But what, concerning what that that's the reason why. And sooner or later, with come with Umar School, it's gonna eventually the state gonna come get that school. Because you can't just keep going around and not take paying, pay, just ignoring it, ignoring it, ignoring it. And especially the state and taxes and stuff like that. Government's serious about the taxes. And, and, and you're going to keep collecting money. Yeah, you can go to another state collect money. And and the, and the crazy thing about this, the people that give, send him money so he collect money and keeps asking for money. All he's doing is, is, is he's taking money and going from state to state to state and you paying for the hotels. And it, it ain't going to nothing. I probably not even some of his ain't probably going to some of his back child support if he got only child support. What <laughs> well, if they do, they're gonna catch that up with them too. If you don't back child support. <laughs> probably trying to evade it and stuff like that. I wouldn't doubt it. I'm not admit, I'm, that's allegedly, that's allegedly, but I'm just saying. The, the, what you paying for? What, what is you getting aim up out of it? And then when he when Umar does come to your city, and he does come to your state, do some with some of you folks that that the um, Umarians with or Umar fans, do you go back and research what he says? What or maybe an, okay, I understand. You proud? You black? You pro black? Okay, go to a black actually a black person who's pro black who got common sense that got no 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 the violence. Okay, I understand, you know, white people, you might think white people are, I understand that. Then go to a black person, go, go get a second opinion from a black psychiatrist. Or at least get one online that understands the concept of black boys and black girls. But you just gonna go to this tech on what one person say, and, and don't, don't, it's the same thing when you go and go for your medical or for, or you go get your car fixed. One mechanic can tell you one thing. And another mechanic can tell you another thing. One doctor can tell you one thing. Another doctor can tell you another thing. Do I just go with them because... And they both can have... They both are licensed. Both are able to do something. But one can be... One can miss one problem. And the other one can see where the other one missed the problem. That's just common sense. This just don't take, I don't know, don't take some word. Because even I learned that there's something recently. I went to the mechanic, when I went to take my car to the mechanic shop. Yeah, both mechanics were good and were credible in the assessment of my vehicle. But they, but if I had to take it to the second mechanic that, that charged me less than the first mechanic, I would have paid, paid for the same amount of work but still get and save some money. Even though the problem was the the point is the problem was the same, and the same thing if you go for your for your medical help or your emotional help, go, just go, go see because some some one person can say one thing, and then you go to another doctor if it comes something going on with your body, but the doctor say can look over and say okay that doesn't really matter, and then it then leads down to you. But when it came to Umar followers, he they got something he, they, 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 they so whipped up in the mind, they're not even thinking logically. Because they're so fascinating with what with, in, in his, with his words and what he says and not thinking logically and use a discernment that God give you. Just because someone looked like you and can and talk smooth point, it, it don't mean that don't mean they have your best interest. That's all what I'm saying. Same with, with Kevin Samuels. Look at the per. Don't sit back and I learn. Don't look at the person's character. Don't don't listen to what the words that they're saying. What does the character come behind with? Let the let the Most High God show you. Let He will show you through what you know. And some people, yeah, there's some people jealousy. They might have envious of somebody. But hell, at some point, man, if, if five, ten people come back and point the same thing out, I don't think that's envy and jealousy. That's just common sense. That's all what I'm saying. All these people can't be wrong, and they come and they bring it out the, the paperwork and what and catch it with the people that's close to them. 
or some that, that or paperwork that came across of what he this part what this person said. All of them can't be wrong. And whether you can find fault in this person background who did the research on Kevin Samuels or Umar, the, 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 uh, there's like 10, 15 people can show you that th this person their, their mindset is wrong. And whether you're young, whether you're old, listen, to, whether you're female or male, listen to this. It's just it's just common sense. Whatever happened to common sense? Don't and I learned don't believe everything you see, you hear for the first time. Go research. Don't put anybody up on no ped uh, pedestal. No matter what it looked like. No matter if they can they can have gold armor on and ha and be riding on a horse and they made of gold, and they can they can they can say get sing a harp and sing music. You don't know. You might think it's from heaven, and it could be the devil trying trying to infiltrate like that. Because there's a scripture saying people the devil don't come at as some some two pitch horn when he first appeared to you. He has to come at the angel of light. People, people operate the same way. People operate the same way, no matter what. And, 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 and since, another thing, because sometimes Umar likes to pick at the church. But that, and he doing the same thing, what the church does, if he's choosing the pastors, or doing the same thing, policing, trying to get the money, basically, in his own way, I need to get this money too. But at the same time, he creaked cre the church. But at the same time, what he'll get his, one of his followers that say that they, can he speak at a church? So, so, so you critique the, the church, the religion, or whatever, and try to put it all in like a uh, like a Babylon, like Nimrod and Babylon. Let, let's add all. We we all are Africans. We all are this. We all are that. We may be all by this color of our skin, but when it comes to our spiritual what we believe in spiritually, that separates that's separate. You can't you can't it's impossible. It's like taking angels and demons and, and trying to get them on court with one another. That is ridiculous. It's like having God's angels and Satan's angels at the same time trying to say we could we could all live in harmony. No they don't. That's unrealistic. So the same way with, when it comes to people's spiritual side. Because one represents the other, and the other one represents the other. And they always going to clash. And it doesn't matter what, what the ratio of the makeup of your skin is. That's fact. That's a fact. You don't believe me? Why do we have wars in countries where people speak the same, talk the same, look the same? If that's the case, then we can all get along. Not all Muslims get along. Not all Christians get along. If that's the case, then why are you going? I mean, that's a whole topic in itself. One is a Shiite, one is a Sunni. But they Muslims. One one, one is Irish Catholic, one is was a Presbyterian. They're both Christian, close to following the right. But there's always some religious war. Spiritual war. So let's go for let's go for some of you people. And say we all are, are together. Yeah, we may all go to discrimination, but when it comes to the spiritual alignment of this world, this system, we separate. Because you believe in something I can't believe. You can't believe in the same thing I believe in. For example, how can I say this? I can believe in the Lord Jesus Christ through his son you do through, I mean, through Yeshua, through his spirit. I can't team up with a person that is a witch and could be a warlock. We're not we're not the same. But y'all both black, it doesn't matter. They, we, they, they got their system, I got my system. Fact. In, in our, we, we ain't gonna collide. Because they stand and say, no, I believe in my system of being a witch and a warlock. And, and, and I said, well, I believe my belief must be being connected to the Father, connected to the Son, connected to the Spirit. They don't work out, people. Come on. Come on. 
You don't have, you don't have, to, have to take any other. You don't have to take the white man to point this out or any other man to point this out. It takes the Most High God to point that out, and that's a fact in itself. So let someone play 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 your emotions like that. Don't let somebody play you like that, because that's a lie of the pit of hell. We can't get along if we have two different spiritual systems. You see, in, in, not only in America, you can see in other countries, someone try to oppress and someone don't believe what another person believes, and they go to war at each other. And then somebody come up, well, maybe we can pray to your God one day, and we can pray to your God the next day. But see, the most high God, say, he said, my, 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 my glory, I, sh I share alone. I don't share my glory with other God. And that's the one, the God that sent his one that sent his sent the one into the earth to redeem the whole world to get to come to un, come to the light. So that's that's for some of you Umarians to think about, and other people like that to think about, because you because he because the father don't work with warlocks, the father don't work with witches, the father don't work with satanists, the father don't work with some other body that called on another name and say that's all right. It's not a God and other God and other heaven say, yes, well, I'll, let's work together and, and help out these people. It's not the way. No, that's not. No, no. Because the great I am said, I am. I am the one. I'm the only one. No, no other God before me. So, Umar need to check that for himself. Not to the ancestors and nobody. It's him only. And his kingdom only. And some some people fall for that, and really, you think you're worshiping your ancestors, and maybe your ancestors might be in heaven, but they if they're in heaven, they are under under Yeshua. If they ain't in heaven, then they somewhere else. And see something that can look like it's your ancestor, can be really something that's posing like your ancestor, but some of you don't think about that. Not even New Martin you even know that. So you can be so you can be calling and something spiritually could be right there, but it's not there to help you. It's there to keep you unbound. Just something to think about when you're out to pour in libations. Over the graves. Watch what you watch what you summon, because what you summon, you may not might be able to follow you, you may not be able to get rid of. It may take your mind. You don't know. You just don't know. Some of you don't know because you try to tie everything. We all, we all do. Why do you think Babylon was separated? My Hebrew brothers know this. My brothers who are Hebrew, they know this. They know this because they read the scriptures. They know. You can't put everything together. We can, we can, we can be brothers by the so-called skin. But when it comes to, come to relationships, when it comes to where we got it, where we going, once we leave these earthly bodies, it's a whole, and while we're in these earthly, it's a whole different ball game. And the most high said, you're not going to compromise with that world. You got to stay with me. You got a choice. You can go along with that world, but don't bring that world into my kingdom. That's the God we serve. That's what he says, because he said he don't share his glory with nobody. And that's a fact. You can tell Umar that. And anybody that. Bet. Bet on that. Don't bring no witches. Don't bring no spiritualists. Don't bring no warlocks. Don't bring no Satanists. Don't bring these other people. In, in bringing this. Bringing what they believe. That opposed to my to his kingdom. That's a fact. And that's what black people need to understand. It. That's why we in, some of us in the state of the end. And because it's spiritual. And we were supposed to be a leader under his kingdom but we went to, to these other ways we, we believe in these we, we follow these other strange gods we, the other systems he's supposed to go to the one that can raise you up from the dead and bring life to you anyway that I'm sorry to go up on that topic but anyway but it, that but that's true though so you don't believe somebody Give the one, get to use your discernment. Don't be swaying by what 
a man's or woman's words what they say. Let let the Most High show you what he's if this person telling the truth. He's speaking your spirit. Says person being false. And somebody who don't have the Most High, he he'll let you know. So I hope this message will te teach somebody. But yeah, this this is what this was really all about. With the Kevin Samuels and then one Johnson. So I hope people learn this lesson from it. So you guys take care. Till next time. And uh, follow follow your heart. Don't follow nobody else. Till, till next time you guys be blessed and take care. And be, be woke. Because whatever it is don't always come which way, way it looks like the way it seems. You don't have no discernment. Take care.